At the time when we started working on the TR-909, we were still planning to make all the sounds analog. For the snare and kick drum, this didn't pose any problems, as we could easily make great sounds with analog circuits. But the cymbals we just couldn't get right, no matter how hard we tried. That's why we decided that, just for the cymbals, we would use digital samples. So we chose to use one of my cymbals, which had a sound I really liked. That was 1983. If I had to make a new rhythm machine today, I would still use that very same cymbal. It's been 30 years since we created the TR-909, and 30 years is quite a long time, I think. So the time has come to plant a new seed and take the next step in music history.